righty, Riggs Hall has one, and we are here with Melissa for the first round of the bonus round. Here's how it works, Melissa. I'm going to ask you five questions. You'll have 20 qu you'll have 20 seconds to answer those five questions. If you can't get one, say pass. If time remains, we'll come back to you. All righty. Okay. Any questions? No. Nope. Awesome. All righty. Can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? <coughs> time won't begin until I finish reading the first question. Name an animal with a very distinctive shape. A fish. Name a food a person would have to be a pretty bad cook to ruin. Um, spaghetti. Name something that turns brown. Leaves. Name something that kids do and hope their teacher doesn't notice. Pick their nose. <laughs> what do husbands and wives have separate ones of in the bathroom? Toothbrushes. Very good. Let's take a look and see how those answered answers fared. He's in it. Name an animal with a very distinctive shape. You said fish. Survey said zero. Oh. Melissa, that's, not a, on the next one. That's, not, that's not a great way to start. <laughs> I asked you to name a food a person would have to be a pretty bad cook to ruin. You said spaghetti. Survey said zero. Oh. But I, know, I understand why she said spaghetti. I've eaten at the dining hall before, so I understand why. I understand why. That's probably what you were thinking. Exactly. See, the same thing I was thinking. Um, that's not a pattern we want to follow. Right? No. Okay. Just the object of the game is to get 200 points. Okay. If we just get two on the next one, we have 200 right there. Two zero zero. <laughs> wow. I asked you to name something that turns brown. You said leaves. Survey says 38. Yeah. Yeah. Roll. That's, a, that's a little better. Now, better. now we're getting the hang of it. Much better. Name something that kids do and hope their teacher doesn't notice. You said pick their nose. Is that something you... Uh, no. I don't know. Not based on experience, sir? No. Survey said zero. John will do better. John will do better. You know what the funny thing is? That you have 38. I mean, you're, you have 38 points though. Yeah. Even though you've had three or four zeros, yes, I it's know. hard to do. <laughs> what do husband and wives have separate ones of in the bathroom? You said <laughs> toothbrushes. Survey said. There we go. 52. First round total of 90. Not so bad, Not Melissa. So bad. Here comes John. <laughs> Does 110 mean anything to you? No. You're going to need 110 points if you guys want to get that pizza party from Pavone's. Okay. So you got your work cut out for you. No problem. And you're wearing the power glove. Oh, yeah. Did Melissa have the power glove on? I didn't notice. Oh, yes, she did. I may want to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. All righty. I'm going to ask you the same five questions that I asked Melissa. You have okay. 25 seconds to answer those questions. If you duplicate one of her answers, I'll say try again. Okay. If you get stuck on a, if you get stuck on an answer, say pass. If there's time left, we'll come back to it at the end. Okay. I have 25 seconds on the clock, please. Time, time will not begin until I finish reading the first question. Name an animal with a very distinctive shape. Skunk. Name a food a person would have to be a pretty bad cook to ruin. Spaghetti. Try again. Oh, uh, hamburger. Name something that turns brown. <laughs> Apple. Name something that kids do and hope their teacher doesn't notice. Look at their teacher in a weird way. <laughs> what do husbands and wives have separate ones of in the bathroom? Of uh, razors. John, you need 110 points. Let's take a look at how you did. I asked you to name an animal with a very distinctive shape. You said skunk. <laughs> Survey said zero. Okay. It's all right. Melissa started off the same way, so don't worry about it. Name a food a person would have to be a pretty bad cook to ruin. You said hamburger. hamburger. Survey said seven. So we got 97. You're getting up there. Uh, by the way, the number one answer for the first question there, name an animal with a very distinctive shape, was a giraffe. And a food a uh, person would have to be a pretty bad cook to ruin would be eggs. Don't you eat breakfast in the dining hall? Yeah, they do. Uh, okay. see? see? Okay. Name something that turns brown. You said apple. Your uh, teammate Melissa had the number one answer, which was leaves. Survey said 
10. So we're up to 107. So you need 93 points on the last two answers. <laughs> you weren't planning on having pizza tonight for dinner, were you? No, I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. All right, about it. <laughs> Name something that kids do and hope their teacher doesn't notice. You said, look weird ways. <laughs> Melissa said picking their nose. So, I mean, either they're picking their nose or they're making faces. Survey said? Zero. Zero. Oh. Number one answer there was cheats. Cheats. Oh, I cheat, brother. I don't I cheat. I'm never, sorry. I never cheat. I'm not a cheater. <laughs> Cheaters never cross. Well, we need 93 on this final answer. Oh, that's rough. And I, and I asked, what do husbands and wives have separate ones of in the bathroom? You said razors, which is a good answer. But did 93 people say it? Survey said. 15, total of 127, you guys, well short of the 200. Good job, and we're going to see you guys on the uh, next episode against Waterbury. We'll see you next time on the Residence Hall Few. That's how we do it. See you. So long, everybody. Residence Hall Few is brought to you by the following sponsors. Favon's Pizza, 342-2300. Pizza Hut, 342-4419. And Career Services, 606 Colton Hall. WTOP at extension 2914 for more information.